Now, if you remember very well yesterday, I dropped a video where we were talking about how far Neo is when it comes to their ADAS uh, chips, right? Or autonomous driving chips, right? I mean, Neo computing power on their in-house developed and mass-produced Shinji NX9031 chip. You know that there's no Chinese EV maker or car maker that is currently producing the kind of chip that Neo is producing with the computing power. And this goes to also most of the chips that are being produced by even the chip giant like NVIDIA. I think NVIDIA, they, they are, their latest chip is the one that of yours. I think the computing power, it's almost as close to that of Neo. But still, Neo's autonomous driving chip, it's, it's very much advanced and it is the one thing. It is the chip that is making it easier for the massive features that you are seeing under the Neo World model, which is a feature that was launched by Neo in May of 2025. Now, the reason why I'm telling you about this, ladies and gents, there is someone who just shared some very interesting news about uh, the Shinji autonomous driving chip. That chip, its capability, its ability, when you see it like that, Neo spent a lot of money onto R&Ds when it comes to developing that chip, right? I mean, you've seen on the screen, you notice that this guy is talking on, on this video. It is said that obviously, near the amount of money they spend on R&D is to produce that chip. It was equivalent to the amount of money of uh, around 1,500 battery swapping stations. I mean, approximately, near on each fourth generation battery swapping station, we know that it is said that they are spending 210 thousand dollars to build each battery swapping station and if this chip R&D research and development for the chip autonomous driving chip that they are currently mass deploying into their cars cost them an amount which is equivalent to 1500 battery swapping station when you multiply that 210,000 by 1500 it simply means that Neo spent like around 315 million dollars building uh, on research and development of this chip which is a lot of money part of the reason why NEO's uh, gross margins part of the re reason why NEO's earnings per share profitability in previous quarters have uh, has not been that good it is because of the amount of money they were spending on R&Ds for this kind of of development right and I must say it is a huge success we all know that because look right now in the industry right now in the space of ev cars or cars in general there is no car maker that is currently producing the kind of chip that neo has produced this remains the top chip with the computing power like i said of 1000 or approximately 1016 which is equivalent which is equivalent to nvidia or four NVIDIA orange chips. We have discussed that. Knowing that Neo spent this much to build this chip, to research and develop this chip, it is something that is just so great, man. And it shows us how far Neo has become. It shows us the massive success that Neo saw because of research and development. Some of the new investors really fight Neo for spending a lot on R&Ds, but R&Ds are important because look now where we are. Neo is reaping the good rewards by the research and development they spent on to this chip. This chip, you will know that Neo has made it clear to say that, look, if other new energy vehicles or other cars, they want to use it, it's fine. But they want to ensure first that all of the cars in a house are successfully equipped with this uh, chip, autonomous driving chip, which who knows, by maybe next year, two years, we might see this chip being available to majority of the car makers in China, which is absolutely great. Something that is exciting and it gives me greater joy, man, to see the massive progress that Neo has made. I don't think their next chip after this one, they will spend so much because they already know how it's done. They already know. It's just a matter of refining to get more computing power or refining to get a way better chip than this one. That's if they decided to upgrade in the next coming few years, which I think they will. 
that is all that is required. But what Neo has produced, so many people still don't know or still don't realize what massive this, what kind of a breakthrough this is, right? I mean, right now, pay car or pay chip that they are using onto this, onto their cars, they are saving around one thousand three hundred and eighty dollars pay chip that they use of this in-house developed chip of theirs, right? They are saving around there, which shows you, uh, which is something that is very great. And it is one of the things that, by the way, it's making even the price of the new cars to come down, right? New main brand cars are coming down, not only because of battery, but because of the technologies that Neo is building in-house, enabling them to not no longer need third parties for chips, no longer needing third parties for softwares because they are developing most of the softwares, most of the chips in-house, which is something that is just so great, something that is very important. Autonomous driving chip is an important chip on an EV car or on any car because driver assistance, driver assistance, driver assistance, it is a feature that is needed by all cars, right? Uh, everyone wants to get to level four, but for level four, full autonomous driving to be possible, there needs to be a, this kind of a chip that Neo build right here, right? The computing power of the chips, the, the kind of a chip that is in your car determines how far you can go with autonomous driving. And knowing that this is an industry leader, when you look into all the chips that are now present or available in China, it gives me greater joy because this shows that Neo is headed on another direction it's headed somewhere great and those that are persevering are going to be rewarded with time i mean 315 million dollars it's what they have spent to get this chip out there to get this chip onto the new york cars and i must say in as much as they spent a lot of money but they uh, it was worthwhile right it was worth it for to spend that money because look at where they are right now look at the softwares they are having to deploy because of that chip autonomous driving softwares it's just on the next level my dear friends and those that are investing onto neo we get to be excited by this yes i know they spend a lot but look at what they produced something that is not there in the market and it's just so great but anyways i don't want to make this video too long like share subscribe hit or click that notification bell so that at least you can be notified by youtube every time i drop a new content i will see you in the next one that is all from me my dear friends and god bless you all